Last week, Donald Trump reportedly gave his, appro his approval to invite Colin Kaepernick to the White House for a series of conversations on race involving athletes and musicians. As everyone may know, Colin Kaepernick is still looking for a job as he continues to utilize his platform to, well, how, how would we describe it, to shed light on all the injustices that's happened across the United States of America. Cleveland Pastor Reverend Daryl Scott announced the initiative, not Donald Trump. As Scott said to Politico, it's going to be unscripted, unfiltered, blunt, no topic is off, t off the table. Trump repeatedly, repeatedly spoke out against Kaepernick and players kneeling against police violence against blacks and Latinos, reframing their effort as anti-patriotic to fire up his MAGA base. Uh, Jamel, you recently wrote an article and talking about how you were skeptical of the invitation that Donald Trump gave to Colin Kaepernick and other musicians and athletes, excuse me. Um, you're saying that his motivations behind it were kind of skewed. Can you talk yeah, about that Yeah, because a uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, at, at least from what we know of this potential summit right now, that it's centered around conversations with m musicians and athletes. So yeah. There's no disrespect to them right. because obviously um, they have opinions and experiences to share. But I'm just wondering why are there no actual experts exactly. being mentioned who examine, critically think about um, race all the time? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. I, that to me just made it seem as if he's that this is really about a photo op. Yeah. This is really about an optic to be able to say like, oh, look, and especially, you know, midterms are coming, you know, coming yeah. pretty soon to be able to say, oh, look, you know, I sat down with X or I think which may be the other part of it, too, is that if some of these um, musicians and athletes who have been critical of him, if they don't show up, right. that will also be used as kind of a, you know, a chew toy for his for his base again yeah. and say, see, I tried, but yeah. this. But I, I, look, I don't know if you guys have ever been through this experience, but it's kind of hard to have a conversation with somebody you don't think they're serious. Yeah. Like, where can the conversation advance? Yes. And what I really hate about this is that already people are saying, oh, he should go and he should, um, you know, further his agenda as in Colin Kaepernick yeah. and, and sit down and maybe this will change. Why is it on him to change? Exactly. Like, at this point in 2018, we're pretty aware of what the, the problems of racism are. Right. Like, if you're waking up now trying to say like, oh, well, I, I don't know what's happening. Like, you have no excuse. So Colin Kaepernick created the conversation. He didn't create the oppression, so it's not on him to solve it. Right. I, I, I agree 100%. And it's like you said, the photo op. I believe he did the same very thing with Steve Harvey, and you could throw Kanye West into that when they had the meeting at Trump Tower in New York City. And with the Colin Kaepernick situation, we see that he's currently going through a collusion case with the NFL. Eric Reed is, is joining him in this collusion case because he's a free agent right now, and it's obvious that teams are not trying to sign him. So it's like Trump... Who, who are you helping? If you're really trying to help, let's help put the pressure on the NFL owners to get Kaepernick a job, to get Eric Reed a job, to stop everything. That's, see, that's, the, that's the, the, the bad part about it because it's it's all fun and games to him. Who Trump? Yeah. Well, we know that. It's about all him. it's all it's all for shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. Like he likes that the NFL is struggling, so he don't care. I mean, his son didn't get the bills when he wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, now you got the the father as a, doing the teacher tantrum. Yeah. So. It's in a win-win situation for him. If Cap doesn't come, he says, oh, I try. Look, he doesn't want to, yeah. you know, if he does come, he's going to make a mockery of it. Right. He's going to use his bullshit handshake to, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna, like, try yeah, it's just going yeah. to, you know, he's going to sound stupid. Like, he, yeah. just, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's just doing what he does best, just trolling. But it, we see Trump utilize the NFL as this, like, propaganda machine all the time. Like, Mike Pence going to the Indianapolis Colts game, standing for the anthem, and then leaving early. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we see Trump at the College Football National Championship game. He didn't He didn't know the national anthem lyrics. He was but, just sitting there mouthing <laughs> stuff. So, it's like, that's obviously. What, that's what I'm saying. He has no interest in football in America when it comes to that. Like, yeah. he doesn't care. He, he does not like football for the business opportunity that they didn't give him. Yeah. You see, he didn't do none of this with basketball. Right. Like you don't know if anybody kneeled. You you don't know what happened in that sport when it comes to Trump because he likes basketball. So it's like ah, yeah. we can stay away from them. We're gonna ah, these football. Well, players. I mean it's it's, Ill, Ill, Ill. it's interesting because I mean notice that the one athlete he has not come after is LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you have to ask yourself why is that? And I think he is aware. Colin Kaepernick has power. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. LeBron has a different kind of power. Yeah. He has business shutdown power. Yeah. And there was a great piece done, I think it was the, the, the New York Times, about how uh, Trump Soho, mm -hmm. which used to be a favorite spot of a lot of NBA teams, yeah. how they really struggle financially once LeBron 
said, hey, we're never staying there again. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I think... So she no longer named the Trump self. No, yeah. right, because yeah. in fact, things got financially so bad that they had to take his name, name off of it. Right, and so that was engineered by LeBron. So he knows, he can say what he wants about the Warriors. Or, I mean, he's never said anything about Popovich. He can say that, but like that's the one dude he will not touch. Because you, you touch his pocket. See, he can do whatever he wants, unless it affects his pocket... He's never going to change. If he start, if this starts affecting his money, then yeah, he's going to change. And he doesn't go after big, big names. Yeah. Now, Jamil, like Eminem, he didn't go after Eminem when Eminem came at him. He go, he knows who to pick off. I, think. I mean, he kind of took a shot at Steph. Yeah, but not a but, big. Yeah, it wasn't a big. It was. Right. Uh, and then LeBron, and LeBron sunned him with the, you know, you, you bum. the bum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Jamel, in your, in your article on the undefeated, of course, you you were skeptical about the merits behind him inviting Colin Kaepernick and these other athletes and musicians. Do you think Colin Kaepernick has something to gain or potentially lose if whatever he chooses to decide with this invitation from Donald yeah, Trump? Yeah, I, I know. I wondered, and uh, if maybe by doing this, uh, because you know, clearly Trump supporters, also many of which are NFL fans, yeah. have been, and and it's not just Trump supporters, have been very vocal about being anti-Kaepernick. It's been, you know, a lot of people in the NFL fan base. Yeah. And so I wonder for them, for him, is is this an opportunity to get him closer to the NFL? And even if it was, yeah. just based off his actions and everything that he's done to this point, I don't think he'd be, he'd be interested in that. Right. Uh, I think for him, his principles mean a lot more than coming to a meeting that kind of looks like a sham yep. um, and using his not just political capital, but just currency period yeah. to on a pointless attempt because you know it's not what people say it's what they do and there's a lot of policies that this administration has enacted that go completely counter yeah. to everything that Colin Kaepernick has talked about is important to him and and talked about in terms of important to it being changed yeah. so it's like what what does he have to gain exactly. I mean people can't hate him more right you know what I'm saying it's yeah, like right. all right if he turns it down it's not like it's yeah. a new right, right. Yeah, you, you, made, it you made an outstanding point about the, his principles because the Seattle Seahawks offered him to come work out they asked him you know whether the reports are true if he would stop kneeling he said I'm not stopping the kneel and right. they were like okay we're gonna pull the trial from you so obviously his so turn it down to exactly it's like so what yeah you it's know? Like, whatever so obviously his principles are intact but, and he's he's leaning on that but even with the collusion case mm-hmm. <clears throat> Him accepting the job anyway throws that case out. Right. If Legally, somebody offered, if somebody, yeah. somebody offered him yeah. a case and he he accepts it, the case is thrown. Yeah, then they can cut him. <laughs> like I mean, it's, yeah. well, like, I, he has to be. They, they have to be. He has but to the be, addition of Eric Reed, who was the former safety for the San Francisco 49ers, kind of joining Kaepernick in this collusion case is getting interesting to me because he's. A solid player. He's, he's a, a solid. He's a he's starter. A, he's, he's a, a starting no safety a starter in, the in the NFL, NFL. and yeah. his free agent free agent interest has been non-existent. But, but that's what I'm saying. When it comes to collusion legally, we all have to be in the room together, mm-hmm. all of us, and say we're going to keep them out. If four of us is here and the other 26, I have no idea. That's not called collusion. Right. That's <laughs> this is just a discussion. Well, what I what I wonder, wonder sometimes is. Um, What's understood need not be said. Yep. See, they yeah. didn't have to get into this a room. That's what I'm saying. They don't have to get in a room, but legally, you have to prove it that they all decided together. And that's the bad part about the collusion that they're not going to ever be able to prove it. You're going to have to pull everyone's email. If one person don't have an email, it's not collusion. But, Gil, like, but at, uh, as I'm sure you may know, the NFL hates bad PR. Yeah. This is horrendous. But you PR see, they ha- but right. you see, they haven't. Knowing who they are, knowing businessmen, if they knew they was in jeopardy of losing something, they would have already broke. They would have already said, look, listen, give them a job, sign them for 10 days, cut them, it's over. But the fact that they have not actually budged at this, like, eh. But you have to. <laughs> like, I didn't, even know this, I didn't even know this shit was still going on. Listen, but the amount of respect that you have to give Colin Kaepernick for sacrificing his career at this I do. point to, to push his message and push the thing and shed light on all the injustices happening in the United States of America, have to applaud him.